Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? It is Rusty Champagne here with you. We are back once again in the world of Factory Outlet Simulator, where this game just recently had a small update, but an interesting one to see exactly what's going to happen with this, because the big thing that they talked about in the update was that the store may actually be profitable now. So we're going to actually take a look at that. They say in the uh, in the notes here, in the patch notes, it says uh, profitable wholesale contracts remained at the same balance, but now the store maximum prices have been significantly increased, especially for advanced licenses. Sometimes the store will be more profitable than wholesale, and sometimes wholesale will be more profitable than the store. So color me intrigued to see exactly what that's going to be. So right now, these are the prices on these shirts. They are $58. Now, I don't know if those have gone up, but we're going to take a look after we turn on uh, the lights and lights. And we want to see exactly, can those prices go up from where they are? So we're going to go to my outlet. We're going to go to price tag. And we're going to go all the way down to the Calvin Klein shirts. Yes, these have gone way up. They're up to $72 now for those shirts. Oh my goodness, that is kind of crazy to see. So we're going to we're going to try just running this place and having all all the Calvin Klein all the time in here. And we're we're going to actually set up the store with tons of stuff. So I might even get some blue jeans going. So we're we're going to make this all Calvin Klein all the time and we're going to see how, just how much money we can make doing this. So let's get some of everything made and start from there. So we're going to need, in order to make some of the shirts, we would need, uh, if we wanted like uh, four boxes of each of the shirts. Let's see. So the, the shirts, oh man, now I got to think about what the shirts take again. So let's go into the machine and let's go down to the shirts. These are going to be how much for the shirts. We need uh, colored thread, colored fabric. So we'll need... Uh, 10 white thread, 40 colored thread, 30 colored fabric, 30 white fabric. No, um, 30 colored fabric, 10 white fabric, and 10 black fabric. Let's see if I can remember all that to make all the shirts. So, or if I want to make uh, that, oh, well, that'd be for 10 of each. So if I want to make even more of that. So if I want to make 30 of everything, pardon me while I do math in my head, I'm going to need basically 120 colored thread and 30 white thread. So let's start with that. So we're going to go to my shopping. We're going to go to raw materials. We're going to need 120 colored thread. We're going to need uh, 30 white thread. We're going to need 30 black thread I, did i have that right so let's go back just to make sure i had that right because did any of these take black thread yeah the the white ones did so yeah so we need actually we only need 90 colored thread yeah 30 30 30 oh no are there oh yeah there's only five colors of shirts so yeah yeah so we don't actually even need any uh Oh, yeah, it's all color thread. So, yeah, 120 and 30. So we're going to go back here again. Pardon all the math. <laughs> we're, we're trying to get this. So shopping and raw materials. Did I actually get any of that? I don't think I actually ordered any because I didn't hit confirm order. So we're going to go 120. We're going to go 30. And we're going to need uh, 30 black fabric and then 130 uh, white fabric and 90 colored fabric. And I think that's going to allow us to make everything. So then we're going to go back here to the machines. And we're going to make uh, basically 30 of all of it. So let's go here. Uh, and If we're going to make some of each of the t-shirts, we're going to go uh, 30, produce, and then 30, produce, and 30, produce, and 30, produce. And 30 produce. And I think I got enough to do all that. I do. Okay, so that's all happening. So now if I want places to sell all this, I'm going to need to get some more shirt racks. So I'm going to need four more shirt racks in order to do this. So we're going to take this shirt rack. We're going to move it just a little bit. And we're going to we're gonna set up some 
So let's let's try and get this a little bit more organized. So we're going to get four or more shirt racks to do all this. I'm going to pack this up. I'm just going to get rid of this because I I'm not going to worry about this. We're going to can I sell it? I'm going to sell it for now. We're just going to get rid of that for now. And we're going to whoop. That is not uh, that is not snap rotated. So let's rotate that. And we're going to set one up like this uh, right about here. Sure. So we'll set that up like that. And then we're going to get four more of those. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go to... Where am I going? We're going to shopping. We're going to interior. We're going to large t-shirt racks. So we're going to get... F oh, those are the large. So I've been getting the smalls. So let, let's actually get five large t-shirt racks. Let's do that. Ouch, that was loud. So let's get five large t-shirt racks. Oh, I can't actually sell that one because it's got product on it. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll worry about that another time. So let's get this. Open that up. We're going to set it here. We're going to snap rotate it like that. And then, oh, uh, is that actually, let me uh, set that so it's kind of the same as the others. So let's move it down. Try and get it like that. That's going to be close enough. Let's get another one, set it up here, snap rotate right there, try and set that up like that, and then we'll take two others and we'll set them up uh, back here. So pick this one up and rotate it like this, and uh, oh yeah, that's right, with these being big, I've got to kind of give them more space. So let's set one up like that, sure, and we'll set one more up over here and we'll leave one sitting there that'll be fine and eventually when i update the store some more then we'll uh we'll get this a little bit more organized than what we've got but for now we're okay so let's take some of the shirts and now i gotta move all these to do i have a warehouse order i don't so we're gonna take some of these and move them here uh, where did i put them so pick up and move and pick up and move and pick up and move so the calvin klein shirts already have a place so uh, i don't have to worry about those i sh probably shouldn't have made oh man i made a bunch of boxes of these oh that's right i made 30 boxes of each i'm gonna have shirts for days i, I thought i was ma i don't know what i was thinking i have no idea what i was thinking oh uh, we got plenty of shirts so we're just going to get these set up here and I should get these spread out so that way they know where to put these. Can I do that? Yeah, I can do this. So we can do this and spread this out like that. Uh, put some here so that way they know where they go. Oh, I need even more. So we'll, we'll eventually get this all aligned. And then we'll eventually open the store for everyone's convenience. But we're not going to worry about that right now. So let's grab another one of these and set these up on the rest of the spaces here. So, uh, hold. Now, this is going to be funny if after all this is said and done, the store's still not that profitable. Um, but we're going to try. Okay, I think that's empty. Yep, it looks empty to me. Let's dump that. Just throw it. Then we've got some red shirts. Uh, oh, do I have places for red shirts? I'm going to need some more pallets and stuff, basically. I have really goofed this up. But we're going we're gonna to keep on getting stuff put out so that way they can keep going. And keep on getting things stocked. And we're just going to run the store for a while. I may not even do a warehouse order here for a bit. So let's see. Is this one? This is still going. All right. So these are still going. They're making all the red shirts now. And then once we have the red shirts, then we'll switch over to the, uh, to the, whatever the colors next after that. Might be the green ones. Uh, hard to say. All right. They're still doing blue shirts at this point. Okay. Here's some red shirts. I'm just going to pick these up right now. <laughs> I've got my machine operator who's looking at me going, Rusty, what have you done? Uh, we don't even know, but you're you're doing something, and we applaud your attempt to do something, uh, whatever it may be that you're trying to do. And I keep on hitting the wrong button there. Okay, these are ready. Let's pick these up. Put these here. Okay, so again, we're, we're going to be all Calvin Klein all the time. Or Calvin Klein, watch what you say here. It's not Calvin Klein, it's Calvin Klein. So be careful there. Um, they're not the same. Don't let anyone tell you they are. They're absolutely different. I mean, we wouldn't lie to you. 
Uh, they're, they're not the same. Okay, so this is all the red uh, and all the blue. At this point, I really need to get the store open just so I can sell some of these shirts. So I think we're going to do that while we're even getting the other ones ready. So let's go. The store is open for your convenience, and let's see how much money we can make selling all these fancy shirts. Because we got plenty of shirts, and we got plenty of stockers to put the shirts up. Uh, we got the white shirts going now. So we'll get these placed as soon as we've got a box of them ready. And we're going to keep on moving shirts over to our racks as quickly as we can. There's our mechanic to fix all the machines when they break, um, which they will occasionally do. I'm going to pick up this box here. Once it's done, it makes a loud noise. There it is. Okay. Let's get these set up over here. Again, just trying to get them set up one on a space so that way they'll eventually come over and restock them. They being my wonderful restockers, whose names I can't remember, but they do have them. Let's drop that with E. Let's take these, put them out here. And uh, E again. Nope, this is left click now. Okay, so now I can just set the rest of these up just like that. That'll be fine. And again, they're going to complain that they can't find other products. And again, I don't care about that. It just doesn't matter to me if they can't find the other products. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I can't worry about that. It's no big deal. Again, I've got way too many shirts. I know I have way too many shirts. I am yeah, well aware of the number of shirts I have. Because I mathed incorrectly. But I've got a billion shirts. And that's going to have to do. Uh, we will not run out anytime soon. At least I don't think so. And if it looks like we're ever getting close, then we'll, we'll focus on it. But for now, I'm going to have Calvin Klein shirts until the end of time. So when I do the pants, I'm going to not make that same mistake. All right, so the last color we got is the yellow. They are just about ready. So we'll get these put up as soon as they are done. Okay. Oh, wow, they're putting more shirts over there. We got, we got shirts everywhere. Oh, gosh. Oof. Okay. All right, here's some yellow shirts. I'm trying to get them in different spots. I really am. Okay, let's uh, throw that out using the E button. There we go. And do I have another full one? I do. Excellent. Let's grab that. Put this here. Okay, that goes there. And there, and there, and there, and there. Okay, perfect. That is all set. And then we will put those there. All right, so now I need to really get rid of some shirts before I start uh, doing anything here. So I'm just going to keep on pivoting with shirts and putting them up. Oh, my gosh, machines are breaking left and right, but that's why we have the machine mechanic. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. We have someone going to take a break back there. That's good, because um, they need breaks. Our poor <laughs> baguette, or our poor runners are running like mad. I've got a shelf way over there that's going to be kind of a trouble spot. I really need to take this one to rotate it. Can I? I think I can. So let's see. Can I pick this up? I think I can. Nope. Uh, that's not what I want. Uh, let's put that back. Can I pick up the whole thing? I can't. F and set it like this, right on top of these guys. Oh boy, let's put it there. Uh, that's probably an issue, so let's pick that up and put that there. Okay, so I wanna set up another shelf. I wanna take this shelf and move it over here. Is it, nope, that's not what we want, so put that back. Put that back, uh, hold in place. Okay, fine, it's not holding it, it's not placing, so I'm just gonna take it and move it over here. So uh, pick up, move, there. I like to move it, move it. We're going to set that right about here. Snap rotates. And put it there. So that way I can just kind of go in between. And everything will be fine. And uh, yeah, so I can just slide them from one shelf to the other shelf and it'll work. So I can just go E and E and E just like that. And find places, random spots to put things. Are there any more spots up there? There's one. And I find a, a spot there. Uh, this is getting to be a little more tricky, for sure. I wonder if I got to be further away. Possibly. 
Uh, let's see. Hold in place. Oh, maybe I can't place it because maybe that's the spot where they're putting stuff. Maybe that's where they grab some things. Perhaps. Okay. So now again, like, like I said, we're just kind of waiting. How did we do? How much money did we make? Uh, 1.63 thousand. Now I wonder if that was the day before. So we're gonna stay here until we until the night changes over, and we're gonna see how much money we made. See if we did a little bit better. 1.63 thousand. Now again, this is not gonna be. It seems already like it's not going to be nearly as profitable as doing a, a wholesale order. But I just want to see at least how much money we made from this. Um, perhaps it's gonna be better. 5.79 thousand. That's probably about the best we've done. And it's, uh, I mean, it's enough to pay for all the salaries. So we got that. Um, while I'm thinking about it, we need to get some racks for pants. So we need to get four more racks for blue jeans. So let's do that. Because if we want to sell blue jeans, we're going to need racks for them. So large pant racks. Let's get four large pant racks. Do that. Confirm the order. And we're going to set these up out here as well. So pant rack, there you are. We'll set these right here, snap, rotate, and put it there. That's going to be close enough. And we're going to large pant rack, snap, rotate, and put it there. At some point, I will, once again, uh, expand the store. I don't know when, but at some point. Uh, large pant rack, eh, that's pretty good. Snap rotate. And one more. Uh, is that the, nope, that's the t-shirt rack. So let's grab that, the pant rack. Snap right there, right next to the fitting room. That won't be inconvenient for the customers at all. Not whatsoever. They'll love that. And uh, so we're in the day. I can hit Z to skip to the morning. I'm going to do that because I might as well. Uh, given, given the fact that I'm focusing pretty much entirely on running the store, I want to kind of move things as much as I can. I do have some free machines, so I might start working on some blue jeans. So let's go here. And if I wanted to go and make some blue jeans and not make quite as many of each, I'll maybe I'll make five of each. I need colored fabric, iron button, iron buttons and quality zippers. And that's for all three, four kinds of jeans. Yeah, so... Yeah, colored fabric, iron button, quality zipper. So I can make four kinds of blue jeans. And of course, I've got five racks because I'm a maroon. So colored fabrics, iron buttons, quality zippers. So let's go shopping. And let's just get enough for five. So let's do that. So we're going to go, uh, not the interior. We're going to go here to raw material. We're going to go to colored fabric. We're going to get 20. We're going to get iron buttons, 20. We're going to get quality zippers, 20. You don't want your zippers busting on your fancy pants. There's that. Now to the machines. Going to go to blue jeans. We're going to make five. Gray jeans. We're going to make five. The black jeans. We're going to make five. And white jeans. Five. So a little bit of all. Let that happen. So. And we can only make three right now when we're, we're doing oh, all the blue jeans are running. Some of the gray jeans are running. So we're just still slowly but surely working on giving ourselves space to put product away. Because we're, again, I've got way too many boxes and we're, we're trying to clear it out as much as we can. They must be putting something there, which is why it's not letting me move anything there. So that, mu that must be the case. Like when I go to put something there and it doesn't let me put it there, that must mean it's still a full spot. So that that's what it seems to be. So uh, hold in place. Oh, I can't even put that anywhere because they're going to fill that up. Oh, now I've messed it up. So can I drop it? Can it, What can I do with it? Can I put it there? I can't even put it there. I'm going to have to just hold it for a bit uh, because these are all full. <laughs> Can I just drop it? I oh I can. So I'm just gonna set it there on the on the floor. Mistakes have been made. It's alright. Everything's fine. So let's find some blue jeans. And he's taking a break. They're both taking a break. They deserve it. There it looks like he was watching some TV back there. That is perfectly fine. Let's get these blue jeans. Set them up on 
this rack, so we're going to replace that with these $105 pants. Look at us go. That's going to take care of that, and then we're going to drop that there. And then do we have any of the gray jeans going yet? I don't know if we do. I've got yellow shirts everywhere. I thought I had some gray jeans going. I just have no idea where the heck they are. Because I'm fully yellow. Oh, black jeans. Those are still those are going. What do we got back here? Oh, we got gray jeans. Okay. Let's get the gray jeans. Put these up. There we go. Gray jeans right about here. With the rack that's facing the wrong direction from the other one. But you know what? Eh, who cares? It's fine. And then black jeans are going on right about here. Let's pick these up. And then the only jeans we have left are the white jeans. So here we go. Whoop. Oh, boy. I messed that up. So let's fix that. That's good. And uh, let's... Okay, they're not going to put anything there because it's not on the rack for them to fill. Can I get rid of that tag? Can I uh, edit that? I can. So that's actually going to be the white jeans when I have them. So that's going to be those once we have them, which we don't right now. But when we do, that's what it's going to be. So, again, let's keep on moving product from one shelf to the other. Just keep kind of keep on sliding stuff over as much as we can. And, uh, yeah, can that go up there? That can't. All right, so that's giving me a few more boxes. All right, and the day is over, so we're going to once again just skip to the morning once all these people are done in here because we've got a bunch of people in the store. How is it that the store, uh, how they tell us that we can skip to the morning at, like, 7 p.m., basically. That seems kind of crazy. Um, these guys, man, they really kind of run out of morale fast. Man, oh, man. They, they, they get tired in a hurry. That seems kind of bizarre. All right, I'm just going to let them go because they're, like, wiped out. And they're going to sit down. They're going to watch some TV. It, yeah, that guy seems like he's really, really tired. So we're going to let him get better. You guys just both get better. There you are. All is well. Do your thing, and then come back out. I don't know how it is that you guys get so tired, and are these guys run like mad all day, and they seem perfectly fine. But our, our stockers, our store stockers, like they, they lose their minds if they like move a box. I don't know what it is. All right, just still slowly but surely clearing out space. I don't know if we're going to be able to move anything there. We're not. So let's put that back. Uh, hold in place. Hold in place. Nope, that's not going to work because I filled it up again. I cannot empty a space because as soon as I do, it's going to get filled right back up. So let's uh, drop that with G and put it right there. That'll work. Is the store empty now? It is. So we're going to go right to morning again. How much money did we make now? Let's take a look. How do we do? We'll give it a little bit of time. Let's see if we made a little bit more than $6,000. Again, this is not as good as a, war, as a wholesale order, but I just want to see how profitable we're being by doing this and how much money we can make with this kind of a setup. So let's take a look. $7,000. That's better. That's better than we've been. Our daily expense was $6,300, but we're only paying $3,000 for, for uh, our employees. So we're making strides. We're going to just fast forward again to the morning. I'm going to pick these up. We're going to put these on the shelf because I've made mistakes by uh, moving things here. So let's just keep on moving stuff from one to the other. And uh, is that now full? Can I put that there? I can't. And white jeans. I know I've got white jeans somewhere. Where are they? Where would they be? My gosh, they're still working on moving the yellow shirts what have i done <laughs> oh gosh uh it's all right it's okay at some point i do need to work on moving some of the jeans but right now we've just got issues because we've got we just got so many shirts we have all the shirts and still boxes upon boxes upon boxes of shirts that's okay. And look at how many we got over there. Eventually, they're going to start moving jeans onto the shelves here. Eventually, it is going to happen. And eventually, I will start making some shoes. 
when i don't know but at some point and again now i gotta move that back because that is full again all right so there we go these guys are doing their best to stay motivated uh, i think i can pick this one up and put it there i think nope i can't so that's gonna have to go back down there my goal right now is just to get to the point where i have pants on my stock shelves here that's all I'm looking for is just getting to the point where I have some pants here. I've got to be able to take that. There's got to be a spot where one of these can go. Yeah, if I can do that, I'm going to call it a win. I'm, I'll, I'll be more than happy with that because right now, like I said, I've, I've got issues here. All right, so if I see three empty boxes there, that means that I've got to be able to put one up because they'll they, they can only bring back at most two because I only have two of them. Can I get a third store stocker? I don't know if I can. Let's go. Uh, employees, security. Uh, oh, we can get one more store restocker. We can get a couple of them. So, yeah, let's get them all. Let's get them all in here. Why not? Let's get a third one. Sure. I mean, what what, what do we got to lose? Bring in a third guy. So we've got, who, who are the three guys we got now? Let's go here. Um, employees, we've got for our store restockers, we've got Johnny Stocker. We got Bobby Box Mover. We got Ricky Refill. All here. And then there we got Freddy Rackpacker. We got Dandy Dispense that are ready if we want them. But for now, we're just kind of going to kind of hold off. So we've got more space where we can move things, I think. There we go. That's good. We got three. We got two empty box slots. We've got three stockers. So we're just, oh, my gosh. Oh, sorry. Yikes. I'm all up in your business. All right, let's keep on moving product. Nothing can go there. It cannot go there. It must be able to go there. So those are the three places that are full. I could theoretically get a second rack. So I could set up another set of like racks in, uh, over here or somewhere where I could then like take this product and start moving it over. That is a, a theoretical thing. So I'm actually going to start picking up some of these shirts because I don't have many of the blue shirts. So I wanted to do start getting some of the blue shirts over here. Uh, those guys are taking a break. They probably deserve it. Let's do this. Man, we're getting closer to being done with the yellow shirts. We're not there yet, but we're trying. And I don't know how many yellow shirts we got. We've got all the other ones that have moved. So all the, all the blue, the red, and the white are now off the floor. I just want to get to the point where I start seeing jeans. That's all I want. And then maybe we can start making some shoes. Maybe. I don't know for sure, but we're we're hoping. So how are we looking here? We're looking like... Uh, now, I wonder, if I were to put a rack here, what would happen with these guys? So let, let's try that. If we go here, and if we go to my outlet... Nope, if not there. If we go to shopping, and if we go to interior... And if we get another rack for the back and what's it called? Store storage rack. Let's get one of those. Confirm that order. And if we get this and if we set it up where all of our wonderful people are standing, will they move? No, it can't put it there because they are there. How rude is that? Can we put it here? Uh, no, because the door blocks it. Uh, where can I set it? I guess I can set it here next to this one. Sure. That won't be confusing at all. That will not confuse me whatsoever. So we're going to start moving even more of this product. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to fix this because I will confuse the heck out of myself. So we're going to move this. Uh, nope, we're going to move it. I'm going to try and move it. So move it just over here in some random spot. We're going to move this over to here whoa and there that'll work so that way i don't get confused about what's where this will now go uh nope move move there you go you can be taught this is now going to go over here as close as i can get it to over here so there that'll work let's pick up the other one can i uh move where's the move icon and can I set it here? Oh, come on. Give me a space. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. That works. Sure, there's a pixel there, if, if you insist. All right, so now I can just start doing all this like there, holding place. 
just like that. Now we got it. Now all is good. All the room for all the product. It's all just going to slide back and forth like that. Look at us go. We got space galore. Look at us. We do learn. We can be taught. Got product everywhere. Is it in any kind of order? No. Does it matter? No. I finally see jeans, and that's all that I need. I finally see jeans. They're finally here. The blue jeans. Um... And, uh, yeah, there's some more shirts. Yeah, I, at some point I could get all this organized. Am I worried about it right now? No, not whatsoever. <laughs> I've, I've got product, and that's all that matters. Let's take a look out here again. How are we looking? Uh, pretty darn good. Let's get into another day. Why not? 78000 Make it a little bit of money every day? Just a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. We're, we're doing okay. And uh, let's see. How are we doing in terms of stuff here? We can start moving more stuff over from this rack to that one. Again, no semblance of order to this at all. And I admit it. I'm, I'm just, it's all haphazard. It's slapdash. It's paper clips and duct tape. It's, it's a MacGyver. It's a rusty champagne MacGyver special if there ever was one. It's just how we roll. So there's that. Uh, nope, that can't be held in place. That cannot be held in place. But one of these should be able to be held in place. There we go. We got it. Product everywhere. So now, now the plan is we are going to, at some point, we're going to change all of these sneakers over and make them Calvin Klein sneakers. And there should be six different colors of Calvin Klein sneakers. So let's get to that. Man, the frame rate is bad. Let's go back here to the machine start. And if we want the, the sneakers, that is white thread. So they're all white thread, colored fabric, advanced pattern, paper, and rubber. Looks like it. And are there five types? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five types. And if I wanted to make like five of each, that would probably be a good start. So let's make five of each. So we are going to need 25 thread, 25 colored fabric, 25 advanced pattern paper, 25 rubber. Does anybody remember what I just said? Uh, 25 white thread, 25 colored fabric, 25 advanced pattern paper, 25 rubber. Confirm that. Now we're going to go to our machines. I think we can actually run all these now and make all these. So five, 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 and five. Excellent. They are all going. I actually even have 25 machines and the ability to run all that all at once. So we will uh, change, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna change some of these over. So let's change these over. So uh, edit and go all the way down. These are gonna be, let's see, the, the purple Calvin Kleins. Edit that, edit that, and edit that. Then we go here, we're gonna make this the reds. all the way down then we're going to go here I don't know if we have greens we don't there are no greens so I guess we'll stick with the Prados there we've got Calvin Klein black set that like that $129 for those sneakers man I am telling you the blue right down the line and what's the last color is it, do we have fuchsia? Oh no, those are reds. Uh, so what did I put up there? Uh, those are red. So purple, red, green. No, purple, red, black, blue. And uh, white. Oh yeah, white. So there. Get all those set up. And the sneakers take a long time to make. As you can tell, we haven't heard one chirp about sneakers since we've started here. There's not been one peep about them. And look at the store go. It is just purring like a kitten. Now all we need is for all of these to get done. And they'll eventually get moved over. 
so we're we're just continuing to move product from one place to the other a little bit at a time so yeah these are our store or, or no are these uh yeah these are the store racks so we're going to keep on holding and placing as much as we can and eventually we'll get some shoes over here a few uh let's see can i put that back i can yeah i got to be a little bit careful about all my holding and placing and uh exactly what we're doing here so yeah uh i've got three four there's got to be a spot where i can put that and there it is do i have a little more? no i don't really have even that much more space to move that one because i got that machine right there so uh let's see how are we doing there's the shoes Excellent. We got some of those. Uh, do I have some spaces where I can start moving them? How about there? Nope. Uh, how about there? Nope. How about there? Nope. Am I just going to have to hold these and look dumb? Possibly. Uh, how about there? Uh, no. How about there? No. One of these places has to be able to do it. One of them has to be able to do it. Come on now. I guess not. So we'll put that back there. Did they put up the Prado Fuchsias? I don't think I had a space for Prado Fuchsias. No, they didn't. Okay. Maybe he was holding them and thinking that he had a place to put them, and he didn't. I don't really know. So I want to get some of the sneakers moved over, but I need a place on one of the racks. I now have two full racks of overstock for customer product for the store. Because, again, I messed up. I'm not going to lie. I goofed up pretty darn good. But we got $85,000. So, I mean, we're at the point now where we could just run the store. And, I mean, if we we could still do wholesale orders. And, again, once we get to the point where we had enough product back here, which we absolutely do, we could certainly turn our attention over to doing wholesale orders. And maybe we'll actually do one of those before we're done here. Um, but I don't know. Right now, I just want to get to the point where we actually have some space to move some of our shoes out so let's skip ahead to the morning again actually let's see how we're doing today how did we do yesterday on money um 8.66 thousand how about today can we beat eight thousand six hundred sixty dollars where were we nope seven five two zero not good enough we're slacking guys come on we gotta do better than that it's not your fault at all. I mean, you can only do what the customers are doing. Uh, you know what? We might as well get another restocker. Well, well, sure. Why not? Let's let's hire a fourth one. Let's go here. Employees, let's go to uh, Freddy Rackpacker. You can help out too. Sure. Why not? It's only money. It's only frame rate. That's fine. <laughs> what's, the, what's the big deal? Oh, uh, man. Who, who needs a frame rate? It's, it's, it's overrated. Let's find some of the shoes. I've got to be able to start moving some of the shoes over. There's got to be a spot where I can start putting the shoes. Absolutely has to be a place where I can start putting the shoes. There's not a place where I can start putting the shoes. There's got to be one. Seriously, all these places that have gaps and I cannot put the shoes. There, finally. Finally, we've got some red sneakers we can put up. Finally. How about up there? Let's get blue sneakers. Can we do that? Nope. How about here? Nope. How about there? Nope. Um, how about there? Nope. It's just, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. There? No. Come on, guys. Arr! I need a place to put these other than there. All right. So I got to give this some time for this to empty out. That's basically what we determined. And I need a third rack for my now i need a third rack for my wholesale stuff because i've got so much other stuff back here and that would get confusing that would really get confusing um hmm. yeah it's almost like i need this stuff to kind of dwindle down before i started doing a wholesale order because the wholesale product would just get mixed in with all the other stuff here and that would get to be messy not like it isn't already but it would get to be messier there's some white shoes Let's see. Uh, we got some. Uh, I did. I put some. I put some red ones up. Let's get some blue ones. They've got to be able to go somewhere. I've still got those Prados that I did not get rid of yet. Can I put the blue ones up there? No. How about there? There. Nope. Nope. There. Nope. Oh, okay. So there's the four restockers. Those are the four things they're restocking. We're just gonna keep clicking and hope that they like get rid of some one of those boxes. It's not there. Nope. They're all coming back with stuff. 
That is an unfortunate turn of events. I just want to get rid of this box of shoes that I'm holding. That's all I want. Is it too much to ask? It is. All right, so we'll once again hold on a little bit longer. These guys are back there taking a break. Meanwhile, these guys are just all like, uh, we got nothing to do, man. We don't have a darn thing to do. What does it look like in the store? <clears throat> it's pretty crazy. Not going to lie. It is pretty crazy. But people love their shirts, man. They absolutely love their shirts. Now, the question becomes, at this point in time, what are the prices on the designer stuff? I still don't know if that stuff is any good. So let's go here to price tags. And if we go to designs, it's still horrible, man. Six dollars for our shirt. There's just no point. Just no point. And it's a real shame because they're nice shirts. But for six dollars, it's just it's there's no point in doing it. Just none. So what one of these days it will be worth it to make our shirts again. I don't know what day that's going to be, but one of these days it will be worth it. Uh let's see, blue sneakers. I, one of these days, I'm actually going to be able to put some blue sneakers up here, too. All right. there's a, There was a spot. Is there another spot there? Okay, there's another spot. Slowly but surely, it's getting there. Okay, well, while that's all happening, can we do like a uh, an easy wholesale order here? So let's go here. Let's go back. Uh, wholesale. Oh, what do we got? I don't want something that's massive. Oh, yeah. 1,140 of those? No way. 880 of those? No. Uh, 920 of those? No. That's a lot. I, I just want an easy one. At $9,000 9, for 240? Sure. I can do that. So let's let's make that deal. We'll do that. And that goes to the sea cargo. So 240 H&Ns. And for that, we need uh, the blue jeans, H&M blue jeans. Let's swing up the screen. These are going to be uh, white thread plastic buttons and cheap zippers. Apparently, these are not made of the same things. So white thread, plastic buttons, cheap zippers. So raw materials, we're going to get 24 white thread, 24 plastic buttons, and 24 cheap zippers to make that. Let's turn on the machines. Turn the machines back on. And we're making the blue jeans. 24. There. That'll give the stalker something to do. That'll give me a reason to... It, yeah, these are going to be done very, very quickly. I wonder if I ought to get a pallet to... I, at some point, someone had mentioned getting a pallet to set things on. So maybe we'll do that. So let's go to shopping. Let's go to interior. Let's buy a pallet, because I've never really ever really bought a pallet before. So where were the pallets? There's one. So yeah, let's buy it. Let's buy a couple pallets. Why not? Sure. And we'll set those up because I think that, that these are for the warehouse guys as well. So let's set one up uh, right here where this guy's standing. What could what? I mean, that, that can't be a problem now, can it? And let's set one up here. Excellent. So those machines are already done. And yeah, they'll they'll start taking that stuff and putting it up there. It doesn't even really matter where they put it because I can auto load it into the van actually i'm going to put this in the truck because we don't even have that much stuff oh no i don't have the auto on i don't have the auto load unlocked on that so hold in place the blue jeans it is putting the blue jeans in here right i want to make sure we're going to open this uh yep it's putting the blue jeans in there i just want to make sure that that's actually what it was putting there and that it wasn't putting some random stuff there it does not appear to be that might be johnny He's just standing in the pants. Uh, dude, you might want to move. That's only going to get worse. But maybe not. Okay. So we need eight more. That'll be done in a moment. Uh, we'll we'll let the day roll a little bit longer here. And uh, are they still running after things? They are. What is that? Is that? that okay, that's actually the H&M blue jeans. That's actually those. So once I see them grab those, then I know we'll be good. So now we should be fine. Yeah, I think that was the last one. So now we can go here, auto load, and the final eight. Excellent. So now 
We'll head on into the van and drive on off. I think it's C for the camera. It's been a while since I've driven. And off we go to the uh, to the C, yeah, to the ship dock, to the shipyard. And all we got to do is just swing right in there. Maybe do a donut at some point while we're at it, because we can. Go into the sell zone. Sell them all. 24 bucks. Got to sell them all. There you go. Not a lot of money, but it's money. That's all we need. Okay. Let us go here and hop in. And let's swing like this. And we're going to back up real quick. And we're going to try doing a J turn. Look at that. Oh, man. I was a little bit too quick. I, I almost had it. I was trying to do a real fancy J turn, but I over rotated. It <laughs> went from a 180 to a 360, or, and that's not good. It's not what you're shooting for. All right, let's park and hop out. Let's see what we can do here. How we looking? How's everything looking on the shelves here? So yeah, we're fine there. We're almost okay. We're we're low on blue shirts, so blue shirts I got to start moving over. So blue shirts need to move. So there's got to be a space for blue shirts. And another space for blue shirts? Nope. Not another one. So, yeah, we got plenty of yellow shirts around there, but we need more blue shirts. Let's check. Nope. I, I, again, now, now the store is open, so that's why everything's starting to run again. Oh, perfect. That works. Um... What else can we do? Let's take a look. It's been a while, I feel like, since we've expanded the store. So we got $96,000. Or we can go here, uh, expands. I mean, I could I could expand the back room more. I mean, how much do we how much do we need to do? We've done that. We've done that. It's hard to tell what you have and have not done. We did that. We did that. We did that. We did that. We did the, no. We have not done that one. So thirty-five thousand to get a little, get ourselves a little more space back here. Sure, why not? And let okay. And then the store. We can get all kinds of space for the store. So yeah, um, yeah. Let, let let's expand like mad here. Big store. Sure, why not? Let's make this place plenty big. Because we can. It. I mean, it's only money. So there, we're, we're 19 expansions in, we're 20 expansions in. Let's go 21, 22, 23. Let's go 24. Let's go 25, we'll go 25 expansions. Let's see how big the store looks now. It's gotta be massive. Yep. <laughs> oh my, got a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> Got people everywhere. Oh, this is rich. Okay, let's move all these. Let's snap, rotate. Uh, people will have to walk all the way back here to use the fitting room. That's okay. Uh, move that. Got people in the fitting rooms while I'm moving them. It's okay. Why not? That's perfectly good. And yeah, what have I done? Yeah, it's chaos. But it's we love it. It's organized chaos, if nothing else. Let's move that. Is that one kid? Yeah, that one can be moved. You're still in it, but that's okay. Snap. A little snapping. A little drop. And how about over here? We got people walking in two different doors. We got people everywhere. It's This is great. What have we done? Uh, got customers left. Got customers right. Here I am smack in the middle with you. Uh, we've got this room for shoes. Let's set that there. Do a little bit of snapping with it. Cool. So there's our shoe rack. So many people. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, let's see. Black jeans. I don't have any black jeans there. I think I need my final store stocker. Let's do that. So let's go here. Um, we're going to go to my outlet employees. Danny Dispense, you're hired. We got it. I don't know why it is that they only give us two cashiers. That part never makes any sense to me. Because we got 59,308 customers now, and we only have two cashiers. 
they can handle them. Yeah, numbers. <laughs> Who can say? All right, we got all kinds of stuff I can start moving. Uh, let's see. I think I said I need black jeans. I'm pretty sure I said that. So let's move some black jeans over and uh, some more black jeans. Let's start just moving a bunch of everything because we got plenty of space. So let's uh, do that. Uh, blue sneakers? Sure. Uh, that's got to be able to go somewhere. Yeah. And more blue sneakers? Sure. How about some white shirts? Yeah, that works. Black shirts? Sure. Can that go in one of those spots? They can go down there. White sneakers? Yeah. I, re I really need sneakers. I know I really need sneakers. So red sneakers and uh, more red sneakers. How about some... Uh, where do, we got some blue sneakers. We'll do that. That looks good. Maybe. Nope, nope. Uh, how about there? I'm running into the rack. It's okay. I can phase. There's that. How, so if we look, how are we doing on sneakers? Yeah, what do we need? We've got the, oh my gosh, uh, purple. Purple and black, I don't have. So purple and black. Uh, I thought I made them. And if so, where are they? Well, there's black. They're up there. So let's grab some of those. Uh, I got to be able to have a place to put them. How about there? Nope. Oh, I've done it again. I've done it again. Okay. Oh, uh, it's fine. Man, I can't believe I made so many shirts. <laughs> That's just oh, it's so dumb. Oh, purple sneakers. Where did they go? Did I not make purple sneakers? Are they still on the floor? They can't possibly be on the floor. I thought I made purple sneakers. Why are you dudes standing in the pallet? I don't know. Uh, let, okay, I, I seem to not have any purple sneakers back here at all. I, I could have sworn I made them, but the tape will probably prove me wrong. So let's go here. Go all the way down. Purple sneakers. So we'll do uh, five white thread. Do I have the, all the stuff? I bet I didn't make them. I bet that's what it is. I bet I hit the button and it didn't actually happen. That is my guess. Because I've got plenty of material to make them. And they're just not made. So I'm going to go with that as my, my option here. Okay, you know what? We've, got, we've still got money. Let's expand the store even more. Sure. Let's go here. Shopping. Expand. How many expansions can we get? A lot. Okay, uh, let's do that. So that one, that one, that one's actually going to get expensive. So 10000 Okay. Now i got to be careful. I'm, I'm down to $13,000. And look how big the place is. And I only have two lights. <laughs> Everyone there is in utter darkness. Oh, it's, it's apropos. Uh, we should start selling flashlights. They might do pretty good. Possibly. We're, we're going to have people here all night long. Absolutely all night long. These guys are never going to break. They're just jamming. They're they're smiling. They're having a good time. We're going to sell shirts like mad. Oh, gosh. What a world. What a world we live in. It's We've we've done some things. How much money are we making now? Uh, 6.65 thousand. <laughs> gosh. Well, we've we've done things. How long is it going to be before these shoes are ready? I want to at least get some of these shoes up. I'm going to take these and immediately put them... Do I even have a place to put them over here? I do not. So I might actually take a couple of these, move them over. So I'm going to take a couple of these, move them over. And I'm going to take these once they're ready. And I'm going to put these on the retail shelf. Do I have space? Let, let's see. Black sneakers. Let's put those there. Yep, I needed those. And once these are done... Nope, I'm going to grab them. Don't even think about it. That's going to go there. Because I think I needed both of those. Yep. And yeah, the Prado greens, we don't have those anymore. That's fine. But we got some of the purples, so those should go up. There they go. It's 6 in the morning, and we've still got customers. We're never going to run out of customers anymore, it seems. We're going to be open all night long, all night, all night long, 
all night. <laughs> it has turned into absolute chaos here at the Rusty Hangar. But that is going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd love it if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But until we meet again, thanks as always for being a part of all of my absolute silliness. I'm Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.